wearing myself out with this one. Um, it is uh, a new one, and I tried a few times yesterday uh, afternoon to get a reference recording of it all the way through. Um, <laughs> and then, well, we're about to listen to take number five of Ophelia. And my voice is dead. I don't know why or what's up. It's awful. You know damn well you did, she said. You know damn well you did. I feel you flipped your lid again. And I ran away and hid. I feel you. All I know is that nothing in life is certain. That's how you end a song when um, you finally f finish it after five tries. Uh, but it's just a reference. Uh, anyway, um, so two things conceptually, um, because I don't think there's a fucking thing wrong with this song. I like this song, it's, you know, 
I mean, it's, uh, if you engage it superficially, you know, it's not about anything. It's just, you know, a bunch of words strung together. Um, which brings me to my point, because it is about something. Um, the first point, which is um, not necessarily ancillary to the second point, is that Shakespeare wrote female characters about as well as they could be written by men at that time. But it was still at that time. Among his female characters that I like the best uh, is Ophelia. Because Ophelia is a victim of her femininity. And it can be argued that um, any victim is a hero. So she is a hero of femininity. Um, not the uh, not the romantic kind. And the other point is that this song is definitely about something. Um, and I think it is this character, Ophelia. I am the hugest fan of Hamlet. I think it's the greatest uh, creative thing in any medium that uh, humankind has produced. Um, I'll put it up against anything, you know, uh, Proust or uh, Dante or um, uh, Elliot Milton, uh, Goethe, all the poets, uh, Beethoven, Mozart, um, the Mona Lisa, the David, the Sistine Chapel, they're, uh, I'm not saying it's not close, but I think Hamlet is a greater achievement, in my opinion. I think Hamlet is a greater achievement than all of those. And the character of Ophelia in this song is a stand-in for, for all women. And women is just my language and if it's an unadvanced language um then yeah shame on me i should advance that language but uh what to me the word women means can you know mean uh uh man boy guy girl partner significant other uh <laughs> um however you want to call it, you know, even your feminine side, your masculine side. Um, but it's in a romantic sense um, in this lyric, uh, or in the romantic sense. And it's about losing yourself in your, your partner, your uh, uh, spouse, um, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. And that when you lose yourself in them, then they have a responsibility for a part of you, like half of you or one or me and that leaves them only half for them yeah and um <laughs> so maybe this will be a uh anthem for the uh for the borderline personality disorder folks they're free to use it if they want it I'll make a better recording and maybe they will. <laughs> anyway, that might be it for me for today. But I've gone nine minutes and 52 seconds, so might as well wait five more.